Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7, Vista and XP, or, I mean maybe not XP, I don't know, so, uh, but uh, definitely Windows 7 and Vista and Service uh, 2008 on a USB drive and boot from it. Um, the software you will need, it's in download description if it's got a star beside it. Okay, Easy US Partition Manager. NT6 fast installer and uh, a zip2 that can unzip ISO files original Windows installation file the uh, installation DVD or the files you can also uh, I mean like I, I copied the D DVD files onto my USB so yeah it's here yeah anyway so and um wake installed on C drive it must be on, installed on C drive okay it's Windows ultim, ul, automated installation kit wake whatever it's called. yeah anyways um, uh, so you d first download wake here um, this is Windows 7 here uh, I'll post I'll, no this one isn't yeah this one is Windows 7 here I'll post uh, the link, this link, on uh, in the download description. Just download it, and then if you're looking for Windows Vista, it's here. Just click here, go down and click here. Yes, and you get Windows Vista after you download. After you download it, which I have already. Uh, download. Okay, it's it'll be an ISO file. You can just extract extract it. And after you extract it, run this exe. After you extract it, run start cd exe, and then um, it'll guide you to install Windows Wake. Just uh, just click install Windows Wake on and on C drive. It which is set by default. If you don't, just don't change it. And you need a USB that's about bigger than 10 gigabytes is recommended. Anyway, I have a 501, so I'm gonna show you how to do this one. This partition manager is very important because you have to set it to active. Here, you have to set it. Wait, I'll I'll convert it to lo logical and do the entire process again. Uh, okay. For this one, you will have to convert it to primary first. Uh, okay. If you don't have a p partition like this, just you you can delete them. Like just delete, and then you can make another one. Uh, okay, I'll show you. Okay. So here, start with the smallest. This, you have to. I recommend you to delete every p partition, but if you have two partitions, you don't have to. But the files would, uh, I think, would be deleted. I never tried. Anyway, so make the smallest possible, which is 808 gigs. I mean megabytes, and then make another one for C drive. I mean for the one you're gonna install Windows on. Right. So this one, and then I'm just gonna make another one. You don't have to. Right now, s co convert this to primary, then set it active. That's very important. And convert the C drive to primary. All right, you are done. Now just press the tick, which will apply the changes, and you just have to wait patiently. Well, not not so long. Just wait like about. Five minutes it'll be down. Now, after you downloaded the NT6 uh, fast installer, you have to run it as an wait as an administrator if you're running Windows 7 or um, Vista. Oh, here. Oh, what the hell? Okay, R run this as. Um, uh, administrator
Okay, now you just wait for two discs to complete. Oh, by the way, you need um, you need the uh, original Windows Windows installation files for this one. So just uh, after you finish, press Enter. I mean, after you get run it, pr just press Enter. It will detect if Windows Wake is installed. You must first install the Windows Wake, and then on C drive must be installed on C drive first, and then run this to detect. And then you press any key to select that file. Uh, yes, it's complete. Select the file. It's I I copied it onto a removable disk. But if you, it's same as when you run CD, uh, the Windows installation CD. Just go to sources. And install dot w i m open to detect uh, um the which one are you going to install? I'll choose ultimate five. Yes, there target drive letter. You have to target the active drive, which is G, but it it might be different for your computer. So G G. Oh no, wait a minute. No no that's not that no wrong thing, sorry, wait, don't. Um not not G, it's H the one you're going to install Windows on, not boot from, sorry. So H you also want to be different and this one is boot drive letter. I made a mistake, I'm sorry. Okay. Now now it's G. I I've corrected this one you into the boot drive, the small one we made, the uh, what eight hundred and something M M B we made which is G and the first one that he asked um, that uh, the software asks you you have to in enter the letter of the uh, drive you want to install Windows on not boot from now uh, which one which is the one you did not set active the, the second one he asked you is the boot one is the one you set active just then with the Partition manager, which which is G for my right here, and yep. So is it gonna be booted as USB disk? Yes, it is. And this one is asking for you, uh, um, the this one. It just after you boot from USB disk, the the Windows file will be installed as um will be displayed as local disk C. If you don't want to display as local disk C, you can just enter any letter and then it will be displayed as that. Now, you j I'm going to in install it as C, so I'm just going to press enter. I recommend you to press enter too. And uh, press it says to confirm it, you have to press enter again to start the installation, which I enter again, and then the installation starts. Applying process. Now I'm just going to stop this now, stop this video now, uh, and after it's finished, uh, you have to set your BIOS to boot authority, you have to set it to your USB disk, yeah, well, you have to set it to USB disk first, I hope you know how to do that, just search a video on, on that like there's tons of videos on that anyways after the f uh, it's finished you will uh, just plug it in and then turn wait shut your computer down first right and then plug the USB in and then turn your computer on if it's set to boot from USB it should should boot okay um i finished making this tutorial tutorials thank you for watching and yeah